Hello and welcome to a new show on everything you need to know about the Greek community. My name is Maggie Rowling. And my name is Mitchell Reed and welcome to It's, it's All, All Greek, Greek to Me. The show is focused on the important values in the Greek community. We'll be covering philanthropy, an outstanding member of the Greek community, a feature story, and a table discussion on miscellaneous topics related to the media. Now that we have an overview, let's get started. For today's first segment is Philanthropy Flash, where we highlight a philanthropic event in the community. For this episode, we're featuring Tri Sigma's Dogs for a Cause. This year's annual event, Tri Sigma raised almost $1,700 for their three philanthropic partners, the March of Dimes Foundation, the Tri Sigma Foundation, and Make-A-Wish. Tickets were $4 for a sister and included food, games, and dogs to pet. We interviewed Ariana Zaglaninski for more information and her personal connection to the cause. And then Make-A-Wish Foundation is actually for um, children who are battling life-threatening diseases, and we donate money so that they can grant more wishes. And we actually partner with them so that we can um, reveal wishes and do send-offs as well. So when they're going off, we'll be there at the airport to like, say goodbye. So actually, my best friend Eugene was diagnosed with cancer in eighth grade, and he was granted a wish by Make-A-Wish to go to the Super Bowl in his 10th grade year of high school. So that was just really awesome to see that it's not just like like stories you hear, but it actually happens in people's everyday lives. That is a great story, and I'm glad she was able to share it with us. Next year, as you're going to hear from an outstanding member of the Greek community, the president of IFC, Elijah Ong. An outstanding member is a Greek that exemplifies the values of their organization, as well as the community as a whole. They are great leaders and role models, and they leave a legacy beyond their time. We asked you about the importance of Greek life on Grand Valley's campus and how being in a Greek organization shapes the members and their futures. I would say IFC fraternities um, help GV out in a sense that we are developing um, professional qualities and characteristics within our members, both in a social and professional aspect, I should say. Professionally, you walk into an organization where you're going to get business level experience, like in terms of executive positions, like you're going to know how to run events, you're going to know how to balance a budget, you're going to know how to coordinate uh, participation. But like in terms of a social aspect, um, an IFC fraternity that goes about their business the right way, they're, uh, they're building men that build safe environments. They know their limits when it comes to alcohol consumption. They know how to take care of people in at-risk situations. They know how to make people feel safe and welcomed in that environment. So in terms of everything all together, like we're just building a more well-rounded individual. Moving on, we're going to be talking about this episode's feature story, Lip Sync. That's right. During Homecoming Week, Greek organizations participate in events and activities hosted by Campus Activities Board. Every year in celebration of Homecoming, CAB puts on a lip sync battle. All Greek organizations participate and team up with each other to put on a show. This year's theme was Halloween based. It was definitely spooktacular and I had a blast performing. My sorority was paired up with Alpha Sigma Alpha and Fiji and the theme of our dance was Carrie. You guys did great. My fraternity was teamed up with Delta Zeta and our dance was based on The Purge. Your team also had a great performance. Unfortunately, neither one of us won, but Phi Sigma Sigma and Alpha Epsilon Pi did amazing and they took home first place. Their Scooby-Doo based dance was honestly incredible. It was easy to follow and the dancing was professional the whole time. Lip Sync was a great way to wrap up the festivities of the week before the homecoming game. Exactly. I always love a good, healthy competition. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of It's All Greek to Me. Come back next time for another update on the Greek life here at Grand Valley.